To make the second plate for this weldment, I'm going to start in the top plate. So I'll select the top plate, move up until I want to make extrude boss. Again, I'm going to choose a two-point corner rectangle. I'll choose this corner as my first corner. I'll come out and click to create it. Push escape to stop creating rectangles. And I'm going to select this edge of my part in this line. And I'm going to tell them that they're equal. So they're already collinear for me selecting this. I'll use mouse gestures to activate smart dimension. And I'll dimension this length at 10 inches. And I could draw the slots now, or I could add them later with the slot tool. In this case, I'm going to add them later with the slot tool. So I'll right click and exit the sketch. I'm going to make my extrusion thick 3 8 So it's set to 3 8 from the previous one. And the type of extrusion is I want a mid plane. So I go 3 16 above the bottom edge of this plate and 3 16 below. Again, I'll right click and I'll select OK to accept that. And I've created my second plate of my weldment, and you'll notice the cut list now has two items. To add the slots to this plate, I'm going to start by selecting this base and looking normal to it. Then I'll choose the extrude cut option, and I'm going to choose the option to make a straight slot. I'm going to make a straight slot by clicking three times, and for the first slot, I'll add the dimensions. I'll start over here, click once, move down, click a second time to create the center line of the slot, move out and click again to add the slot with dimensions. I'm going to now uncheck add dimensions and I'm going to create three more slots using the same technique. So now I've created my slots, I'm going to push escape to stop that. And I'm going to fully define these with relationships and dimensions. I also want to add a center line here. So I'm going to use my mouse gestures to activate line. I'm going to add a line from the origin to the midpoint here, push escape to stop, select the line, and then I'm going to switch it to a construction geometry line, so I now have my center line. I'm going to fully define these with dimensions and relationships. So first I'll focus on the dimensions. I'll double click this dimension and I'll set it to three quarters, my slot length. Then I'll double click this one, and I'm told the radius slot is 0.280, so I'm going to enter 0.28 times 2. So I get the slot width to 0.560. And I do want to dimension this slot from this center point to this edge of this plate. So I'm going to use my mouse gestures to activate Smart Dimension. And then I'll select this point, this edge, move over and click to place it, and make this 3 and a quarter. Next, I would like the distance from slot center to slot center to be 5 inches. I'm going to push escape to leave dimension mode and now I'll start fully defining things with relationships. So first I'll tell it that all of these center lines, so I'll select all the center lines and release them. I'm going to make all slots equal. So I want to make these symmetrical about the centers. So I'm going to select this center point of this slot. I'm going to hold control, select this center point of this slot. Still holding control, select this center line. Release control and add the symmetry mate. These two slots are now fully defined and next I want to add one more dimension. So I'm going to go back to smart dimension and the distance from one slot to the next is three and a half inches. Push escape to stop adding dimensions. I'll select this slot center point and this slot center point. Release control and I'm going to make those horizontal. Now that my sketch is fully defined, I'm going to exit the sketch and I'm going to hold my middle mouse button and roll around and kind of see how it looks. And for the end condition, I'm going to tell it to cut through all of this plate. I'll accept that. And now I have my two plates created. 